Hello, and welcome to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Kevin. On this episode, we're gonna show you how to install a receiver hitch, part number HITCH13, on this 2010 Club Car DS. Now, before we get started, we wanna show you the contents included with your hitch, as well as all of the tools necessary to perform the installation. Here's a look at what you'll receive with your hitch 13. First, we have the hitch receiver, followed by the hitch insert, hitch pin, cotter pin, and all of the necessary mounting hardware. Now that we've shown you what's included with your Hitch 13, let's take a look at the tools necessary to perform the installation. The tools that we will be using to install our hitch are as follows. First we have Phillips head screwdriver, a half inch wrench, half inch socket with extension, and a cordless impact. Now that we've discussed the tools that we're going to be using, we're ready to begin our installation. Now before we get started, we want to mention that we have the car jacked up and on jack stands simply for the instructional purposes of this video. You do not need to have your cart lifted up in order to install the hitch. Now the first thing we want to do is to remove our factory bumper by removing the four nuts located underneath of the bumper. Once you remove all the factory hardware, you're going to want to retain it as it will be reused to reinstall the bumper later on in the process. Now once you have the rear bumper removed, we're ready to install our receiver hitch. Now you want to take the hitch and place it behind the frame of the cart, aligning the mounting holes on the hitch with the holes already in the frame. You're then going to secure it in place with the provided mounting hardware. Once you have the hardware installed, you're going to want to tighten it at this time as once you reinstall the rear bumper, you will not be able to access this hardware. Now the next thing we're going to do is to reinstall the rear bumper. Now before we do this, you want to make sure that the two mounting holes on your receiver hitch line up with the two center mounting points for your rear bumper. Once you're sure of this, we can then go ahead and reinstall the rear bumper using the factory hardware. With our rear bumper now reinstalled, our receiver hitch is now secured to the cart. At this time, we want to install our hitch insert. Now in order to do this, we're going to install the hitch insert into the receiver hitch opening. We're going to align the hole on the hitch insert with the hole on the receiver hitch, and then we'll be able to slide our hitch pin through that hole. Once the hitch pin is installed, we're going to secure it in place using the supplied cotter pin. The last thing you want to do is to go back and double check that all of your hardware is tight and secure. Once you've done that, that'll complete the installation of our receiver hitch, part number HITCH13 on this 2010 Club Car DS. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.